know there's uh, people talking about uh, peer pressure. Peer pressure can be a good thing. I use it all the time with the dogs. You get a bunch of calm, submissive dogs, and they're all hanging out, and they're all doing good things, and it will calm down other dogs. For instance, I use the fire pit. People tell me if their dogs are afraid of gunshots or, or um, what do you call it, the fireworks. I'll just put some pine in the fire at nighttime. We're all sitting, and most of the dogs are already calm and submissive and not a problem. And when the snap, crackle, pop starts going off, the other dogs kind of look around and go, Oh, you guys aren't freaked out. You're not freaked out. Well, I guess I shouldn't be freaked out. So it has a real nice calming effect when they look around and see everybody else is just mellow. And then the other thing, when I go through the yard or the gate, sometimes I'll make them all sit. And it's so funny to watch the new one who hasn't a clue. Everyone else is seated waiting to come in to get fed. And the new guy looks around and goes, what am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? And all he looks around and goes, oh, I'm supposed to sit. And the new dog sits. You don't have to say a word. It's too funny. So, but here we are, all the way over to this tree on this side of the yard. And Bailey started off way over there. So, you just give them time. I got time here. I'll protect them. All right, I'm gonna make this short and sweet. There's Abby up there on the... On the I just wanted to shoot another video to show people that uh, Bailey's hanging in there. Bailey's doing a really good job. Country Oaks, bed and biscuit in. There's always room 